Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to show you how you can make custom stickers for your Instagram stories that look a little bit like this. So I'm going to show you how you can make them and then show you a couple of examples of how I use those on my stories. Okay, so you're going to want to start by opening up the Canva app. You can either use this on your phone or your iPad or use it on desktop and it's free for most parts, you do have to pay for some templates and some fonts and things like that but there is a free trial at the minute so you can give that a try. So you're going to want to open up a new file, um, try and make this maybe the size of an Instagram post, if you make it any bigger when you come to use it in your stories it can be a problem um, when you want to resize it and things. So just choose Instagram post and then there are lots of different options um, that you can look through so you can make different shapes um, if you can see what I'm doing here, I'm going to image and you can swipe across to lines, you can find different shapes like circles, wiggly lines, basically anything you want to put in your stories. As you can see this circle here, I've decided to um, copy and paste a couple of times and make them into all of the different colours I tend to use which are blush pinks, peaches, cornflower blues and things like that. So just have a play around, have a search, um, you can find leaves, basically anything you like and you can change it to the different colours you want. These abstract shapes I tend to use on top of pictures if I want to add some text on top or just to add a bit more interest and as you can see I'm scrolling through all of these different ones I made. Um, including leopard print and things like that but it's relatively straightforward to use and Canva does have a lot of useful tips and help in the app itself. I do personally prefer using the desktop version but it's easier to show you how it is on my phone. So I'm making a couple of these lines here in the colours I like to use and these are great for if you want to use them as washi tape to paste on top of a photo or just to write on in general and then I've decided in the fonts I use to write a couple of expressions that I commonly use so good morning or days of the week and things like that so as you can see I'm just scrolling through all of the different ones I made I think in total I did like a hundred and then these pretty rainbows here you make just by layering different arches on top of each other and you can find that in the line section so then you want to save all of your designs you do want to save them as PNGs with transparent backgrounds and if you don't have that function, if you don't have the premium Canva, you can use an app called remove.bg, not an app, it's a website which I'll link in the description box. It will take a bit more time to individually remove the background off of each one but it is free so that's a way to get around if you only have the basic Canva subscription. So once you have all of those saved you should be able to find them all in your camera roll. I have a folder where all of my Canva designs are saved and it depends, this is on, I have um, a Samsung phone so these are all of my Canva designs in the camera roll. So if you use iPhone you should be able to copy these stickers directly into your stories but if you have an Android, um, I have a Samsung, you will need to download SwiftKey from the App Store. My previous video explains all how you can do this so definitely watch that if you're not sure but you want to go to SwiftKey on your keyboard and there you can manually add each sticker to the keyboard and if they're not coming up in the keyboard you can copy or move the photos from Canva into your camera roll and then as you can see here you just have to open up SwiftKey and go to the bottom right you can see a little pin and there you can plus from your camera roll and add each sticker to your story so you can do this um, all in one go which is what I did, it was quite tedious to add each sticker to the keyboard or you can just do it as you go along but you just need to remember to click either the sticker icon or the little gif icon then press the pin and then press plus and then all of your transparent stickers will appear in that section so again if you're not sure I do encourage you to go and watch my previous video just so you can understand this a little bit clearer but here's me just one by one adding all of my stickers. So now if you see I'm scrolling down, these are all the stickers in my collection that I'll be able to use on my Instagram stories. So there's loads of different ones, new posts, good morning, different colours I use, um, different shapes, 
loads of different ones you can see them all there so now I'm going to show you how I would use them on a typical Instagram story so I'm going to go and open up a picture it could be any picture you like and then in this case I'm just going to go to change my keyboard from Gboard which is the one I normally use to SwiftKey and then I'm going to just write hello and add a little bit of text just something really simple but it just means that you get quite a professional looking nice effect really without having to either hand draw it using the pen tool which I like to do sometimes but it can be tricky um, and it keeps fonts continuous all the way across your stories so if you have a blog that uses particular fonts or if you use particular fonts in thumbnails for YouTube videos you can keep it consistent across the board which I like the look of. So I'm a big fan of shopping my wardrobe and making sure I get a lot of use out of the clothes I buy. So one of the custom stickers I made was about um, re-wearing and re-loving your clothes. So as you can see I'm just putting up an outfit of the day post and adding that sticker there and then um, adding some hearts which again are in the kind of custom brand colours I tend to use across all of my social media channels. And then for this one which is a kind of throwback picture to when we visited Barcelona at the start of last year now. I'm using one of those long lines um, as a border for text. So again you can use these type of lines in this way that I'm showing you here or you can drag it to make it smaller and use it as washi tape on the top of a picture or on top of a couple of pictures and layer it up how you like. And I love the look of the little heart like sign Again, you can choose any colour you like for that. And again, with this story, which is a nice picture of me in the forest that we live not too far away from, I've just put a little sign saying, just breathe, just as a nice reminder for everyone to, you know, relax a little bit, breathe in and out. So for this picture of when we went to Copenhagen, um, it has a lot of really cute colours in it, which I like to use a lot anyway. Um, so. I thought it'd be a nice chance to show you how I use those quite random organic shapes just to layer on top of pictures. So as you can see I tried to use the word hello but it kind of blended into the sky a little bit. So in a minute I go in and add some of those shapes from Canva just to create a bit of interest really and to use as a background to make the words kind of pop off of the picture a little bit. And again, it's all trial and error, you know, you might put one on and it doesn't look that good, so you can go in and choose another. So there's no right or wrong really, you just have to play about with it a little bit, see which ones you like the look of. In the end, I decided to use this semi-transparent shape, um, because in Canva you can change the opacity of the colour. So some of them I saved with 100% of the colour and some of them with about 70% of the colour. So then you get some which are very opaque and some which are a bit see-through like the ones in this photo. And for this picture which was taken at a restaurant we went to in Copenhagen, um, I decided to add some text about the food because I was having a vegan set menu at a restaurant called Host which was really nice. So to add in a bit of greenery I added in these leaves that I had um, made on Canva as stickers and then this cute little eat vegan sign. So I did a couple of variations of this, swapped some out, decided I would prefer this small little heart that looked quite cute and then at the top added another banner and added some text. And lastly, on this picture of a brunch I had recently, I decided to add this cute sticker saying weekend vibes that I've made and just decided to put it in this white space up here. And again, you can just play around with the positioning. I decided you couldn't really see it at, at the top, so I added another one of those semi-transparent um, stickers to the bottom just so you could see the text a bit more. And then added these cute little lines around the top of the yoghurt bowl at the top. then some coffee beans because they just look really cute. 
So, I hope these ideas were helpful. Let me know if you've got any questions in the comments box below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, stay around for more. And I hope to see you again around these parts soon. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye.